and a welcome uh, to the Regional Police Reporters Nairobi. I want to welcome all of you. Once again, we are here, and I know very well that uh, we also know what is ahead of us and uh, what we are expecting. And therefore, we are here to give direction as National Police Service on behalf of the National Police Service, that is Inspector General of Police, and the entire family of the National Police Service. We are therefore here to address the nation and the people of Nairobi about the cold demonstration by the team from Asimio. And therefore, we are going to give guidelines and direction to be taken into as we ensure that law and order is enforced and maintained within the city of Nairobi. We want to ensure that Kenyans of goodwill have all it takes to serve the interests of this country, or rather to ensure that they run their businesses without any interference. And therefore, we are here to give directives and guidelines to us the same. <clears throat> I therefore want to read very clear, and this to be understood by all Kenyans of goodwill, that we are in receipt of a letter from Asimio informing us, uh, Asimio coalition informing us of the intent to conduct public demonstration within Nairobi County on 2nd of May 2023 and address us under, as here under. We are, whereas Article 37 of Kenya's Constitution of 2010 allows every Kenyan citizen the right to peacefully and unharmed. I underline the word peacefully and unharmed to assemble, to demonstrate, to picket, and to present petition to public authorities. Whereas the law allows us to do as I've said, we are here for, it is however not worthy that the right to assemble is not obsolete under the Constitution. The Public Order Act, Section 5A, 6, or rather seek to regulate public meetings and processions by providing for the need to notify the police and also the power of the police service to stop or prevent a public meeting where appropriate. As much as you are allowed by Article 37. There is also subsection 5 of the same act that regulates or allows police to regulate the same procession, demonstration, picketing, or whatsoever. And this, therefore, and where it is obvious it will not meet the constitutional objectives, under the same part 3, the Public Order Act also prohibits the procession or the possession. While you are in procession, it prohibits the possession of offensive weapons at public meetings and procession demo uh, demonstrators, picketers, and petitioners or presenters of petition must do so peacefully and unarmed. You should be able to do it peacefully and unarmed. Assemblies, picketing and demonstrations, which are not peaceful, are excluded from the protection of the article. This, therefore, should be understood very clear, that once that we are not to meet the requirements of Article of Section 5 of the same article, then we police have demanded to ensure that it is regulated, it is managed as per that article. And if it does not meet the requirements, then it is prohibited. If they con consist of violence to or intimidation of the public, then the assembly or the demonstration have to be stopped. If the same exercise, I repeat, if the same exercise consists of violence or intimidation, of the public, then the assembly or the demonstration have to be stopped. Likewise, 
Participant in, a, in assemblies, picketers, and demonstrators must not be armed. Must not be armed. Weapons as well as defensive or protective contraptions, which breed or stimulate aggression, have not, be, have not to be possessed by the demonstrators or the picketers, meaning they should not have any kind of protectives, either stones, sticks, or whatever. Peaceful demonstrations should remain peaceful by actions and by the process. Therefore, previous demonstration that has been witnessed in the month of March 2023 concluded or conducted by the Asimio team were mired with violence as the demonstrators were armed with machets who attacked innocent members of the public who were going by their business, resulting in the destruction of property, attacks on members of the, of the general public who were not demonstrating, stealing, looting, and death in some areas were experienced. So you can take it to note that on the previous demonstration, we experienced or the public experience looting, attacking, and also loss of property, which lead to also loss of life. That therefore, the Asimio demonstrations were nothing but peaceful as such. By this letter, we, we are declining to allow the Asimio team to go ahead to proceed with the demonstration, and any such demonstration will be dispersed by law enforcement officers. So this therefore indicates very clearly to the Kenyans of goodwill that there will be no demonstration within the city of Nairobi because we are guided by the law. And as I put it very clear, as per section 5 of the same article 37, we must ensure that Kenyans are safe. And if the requirements or the applications of the so-called team does not meet the thresholds of the same, then therefore the mandate of the police, it is to regulate, it is to control, and to ensure that Kenyans are safe. At the same time, their properties are secure. And we say the same is declined, and therefore no demonstration within the city of Nairobi, or within the entire Nairobi as a city. That is it, and I want to wish Kenyans all the best as we ensure that they are safe wherever they are, come tomorrow in the business. And I welcome uh, to the Regional Police of Quarters Nairobi. I want to welcome all of you. Once again, we are here. And I know very well that uh, we also know what is ahead of us and uh, what we're expecting. And therefore, we are here to give direction as National Police Service and on behalf of the National Police Service, that is Inspector General of Police, and the entire family of the National Police Service. We are therefore here to address the nation.